This week on Inside Boulder News. Bike or walk, the Baseline Underpass will get you where you need to go. And hop on this new shuttle to get to Boulder's hidden gem. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, your chance to share your stories, get involved, and keep up to date on all things Boulder. I'm Jocelyn Avendaño. Those who like to go to the scenic area of Chautauqua know that parking can be a bit of a hassle. Earlier this month, the city of Boulder launched a pilot program called Park to Park, offering free shuttle buses to and from Chautauqua. This is very exciting. Park to Park is a pilot project. It is the result of a lot of work around the Chautauqua Access Management Plan. It's a plan involving the city, various partners, and members of the community that explores ways to create a better visitor experience. And now, through August 27th, people and dogs can ride on this temporary shuttle bus service. It runs every 15 minutes on weekends for free from various locations around town. For those who prefer not to use the free satellite parking, paid parking at $2.50 an hour is available in designated areas around Chautauqua. For folks who would rather not pay for parking and don't want to try to look for parking spots, they can park down at a free parking location. So we have a lot down at the bottom of Baseline at New Vista High School. Um, we also have a free lot over on CU's campus. Additionally, we have all of our downtown parking garages, which are already free on Saturdays and Sundays. And so far, feedback has been really positive. People are loving the shuttle. And people seem to understand why uh, there's some parking management going on up here, you know, why you know, it's such a popular location. People come from all over the place, not just locally. If you have feedback on Park to Park, visitors and community members are encouraged to fill out a brief comment form. Or if you want to see a map of the shuttle route, go to parktopark.org. This week, the city of Boulder opened up its 80th underpass making pedestrians' commutes much safer. In Boulder, we have worked really hard um, to improve mobility for everybody. After about a year of construction, Boulder's baseline underpass is open and ready to use. It's Boulder's 80th underpass, and this week, a celebration brought members of the community together to see this great achievement. Everybody on the council was a strong supporter of this, as we have been for pretty much all of our multimodal projects because we recognize just how well they work for the community. The underpass includes many safety improvements such as the replacement of pedestrian signals and a reconstructed and improved transit stop. The other thing that a lot of people maybe don't realize is that by getting rid of the pedestrian signal that was here before, we've reduced an additional impediment to automotive vehicles as well as transit vehicles that used to have to stop at the pedestrian signal when it was actuated. And thanks to a great collaboration, the baseline underpass completion was a success. It's really more than cooperation at this point. It's real active interest by CDOT, as well as great partnerships with the university, with RTD, and with the Basemore Center. If you didn't have that, you either couldn't do it at all. It was really nice that this many people came out to recognize that projects like this are really important to the city of Boulder. And I hope they learned something. Along with the ribbon cutting ceremony, there were informational stations, a public art dedication, and a performance by the Boulder Bike Underpass Choir. So whether you ride or walk through the underpass, or happen to drive over it, the baseline underpass will be part of Boulder for many years to come. Though we aren't officially in summer just yet, hot dry temperatures make it seem like we are. And with these kinds of conditions, the risk of wildfires increase. This weekend, Boulder Fire Rescue and Open Space and Mountain Parks are teaming up to make sure you are prepared. Flagstaff Nature Center will be host training this Saturday, June 17th from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30. Community members are invited to learn more about wildland fire mitigation and preparedness. Wildland firefighters will answer any questions the public may have and the wildland fire engine will be on display. Saturday's event is a public education event. We're going to be here with some volunteers from Open Space and Mountain Parks. We have an example of uh, work that people can do to their own homes to prepare for a wildfire. Thank you so much for watching us on this week's edition of Inside Boulder News. If you have pictures, news tips, or events you'd like to see featured, we'd love to hear from you. Connect with us on Facebook. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe.